Organic Coffee Threatened by www.buyorganiccoffee.org We've written previously about the dilemma that organic coffee growers face when coffee leaf rust infects their crops. Now Bloomberg has taken notice. In an article entitled Organic Coffee Threatened by Global Warming Stoked Fungus, the news organization discusses how growers are faced with spraying and losing their organic status or not spraying and losing their coffee plants. Teodomiro Melendres Ojeda, an organic coffee grower in Cajamaca, Peru, stands at a crossroads. Neither path is attractive. Leaf rust fungus, known as Roya in Spanish, has devastated about a third of his crop. Melandris, 48, can use chemicals to kill it, though he risks forfeiting his organic certification and the 10% price premium it brings. Or he can preserve the certification and watch his plants die. What are the possible remedies for organic coffee growers to this spreading coffee plague? Colombia beats La Roya. Leaf rust, called La Roya in Spanish, requires nighttime temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit to thrive. This usually kept the disease below about 3,000 foot elevation. It also likes more rain. When El Nino hit Colombia in 2008, it provided the rain and higher mountain temperatures, allowing the fungus to thrive at altitudes up to 6,000 feet. Colombia lost 40% of its Arabica coffee crop that year. The Colombian Coffee Growers Association started crossbreeding studies in the early 1980s and has two strains of Colombian leaf rust resistant coffee, Colombian and Castillo. The first is a cross between an old Colombian variety, Caturra, and a rust resistant strain from Southeast Asia, the Timor hybrid. Castillo is an offshoot of further crossbreeding of the first Colombian leaf rust resistant coffee strain. Replanting with Colombia leaf rust resistant coffee in Colombia has reduced the incident of leaf rust from 40% to 5% from 2011 to 2013. However, to accomplish this, the Colombias needed to uproot 40% of their coffee crop and replant. This is what organic growers are facing all across Latin America. What is an organic coffee farmer to do? With organic coffee threatened by La Roya, many organic farmers simply spray and forget about their certification. But if the infestation is severe, coffee plants are lost anyway. An article in the online La Prensa in Honduras notes that not only are coffee growers losing money and the economy of Honduras being affected, but poor coffee workers are starving. Family incomes of workers affected by leaf rust have fallen below the level necessary to survive, according to Oxfam. The plain fact of the matter is that many organic growers are small family operations that hire local help in managing, picking, and processing their crop. The 40% or more crop losses in countries like Honduras have caused significant hardship. An interesting article in the online Times Picayune notes that the effects of La Roya are pushing people to the U.S. border. Meet the world's most important coffee disease that you've never heard of, rust fungus, also known as La Roya. Its spores, which can devastate entire coffee farms, forced Sri Lanka to uproot all its coffee trees in the 1860s and start growing tea. Today, climate conditions have accelerated the fungus growth in Central America, uprooting farmers and fueling a wave of immigration to the U.S. For more useful information about organic coffee and how to get it, visit www.buyorganiccoffee.org.